Hey guys, this is Logic Crazy, and I'm Jonathan, and welcome to yet another chess engine tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on king moves as well as king safety. But to get started quickly with the king moves, uh, I've already implemented it, and it should look very much the same as the white new, uh, uh, white knight move uh, method, uh, with just a couple of adjustments. So if we go to the white king method here. Uh, you will see that the uh, only real changes that happened uh, in the entire method are right here at the top. One being king uh, span in, uh, is used instead of the knight span, and also the location is shifted over by 9 instead of 18. Uh, and if you look at your uh, king span, we've already implemented this in as 6, or sorry, 4600. Zero, zero, Three, nine. Uh, and the reason that it's uh, shifted over by 9 instead of 18 is because uh, this night span was, uh, uh, this number was uh, designed with uh, the original night being placed on the 18th square. And this number depicts all the places that the night could move to. Uh, and with the king, it was placed on the 9th square. And it depicts all the places that the king can move to from that location. So that's just a quick bit on there if you hadn't already implemented it yourself. And the other method that I've created is a method that I've called unsafe for black. And what it does is it takes in all 12 uh, bit boards and it returns a bit board of all the places that white can go to and therefore that are unsafe for the black uh, king. So if we took this method, unsafe for black, and at the end added a and uh, black king, whoop, black king, we w sorry, that's not an and, uh, there we go, and black king, then what we would get is we would be able to determine if the king was in some sort of check or checkmate. So let's go to this uh, method here. Uh, what I've started with, off with is uh, created a bit board called unsafe, which will contain uh, the results of everywhere that white can move to. Uh, then I've also uh, updated what occupied is based on all of the bit boards. And we uh, then go through all of the pieces from uh, least value to greatest value and add their movements to unsafe bit board. So the first thing we do is we set unsafe to uh, pawn captures to the right. We don't need to worry about pawns moving forward or forward two moves or pawn promotions. Basically, you're in danger if the pawn can capture you to the right. And otherwise, you're not in danger. Uh, and also to the left, of course. Uh, to add these things, uh, when we want to add all the captures to the uh, pawn captures to the left, we have to do this or equals and that will uh, add them without undoing previous uh, uh, details in the unsafe method, uh, previous ones. And uh, then we come up with this method called, or this bit board called possibility, which we use for the next few lines of code. Uh, moving on to knights, this looks uh, very similar to our knight uh, move generation method, uh, except that we only, we stop at possibility. Uh, uh, when we've come up with all the possibilities. We don't uh, worry about creating a list. Instead, we just take that and add it to unsafe. And we go through the loop going to the next night and so on. Then we go and we grab all the pieces that can move diagonally, which in this case are the bishop and the queen. And these are all sliding pieces, I should say, that move diagonally. And we combine them into one bit board, which I've called QB. And QB doesn't stand for quarterback. Uh, it stands for a queen bishop. And we take this queen bishop bit board and we make each, we loop through each uh, bit in it and we make them slide uh, diagonal and anti diagonally and then we add them to unsafe and continue through the loop. Uh, we do the same thing for the horizontal and vertical sliding pieces with the rook uh, slash queen methods here. Uh, or lines of code, 
And lastly, we come up with everything that the king can go to, which is very much the same as the uh, knight uh, method, uh, except for the few uh, adjustments, as I'd mentioned before, with the king span and shifting over by 9 instead of 18. And then we add all of that to unsafe. And for debugging purposes, I've, purposes, I've added this uh, line here, print uh, a blank line, and then uh, draw that bitboard called unsafe. So uh, if we uh, run this thing, uh, oh, first uh, should just look at what our uh, board is. Right now, uh, I should make this a pawn here. All right. Let's just redo that. So uh, I have the regular starting position for chess. I run in debugging. And a little flow here. Let's see what we get for output. There we go. Output. All right. What we get is the bottom three rows are unsafe for black. They're defended by white except for the very bottom two corners. Uh, if we look at a board, you'll notice that one way or other, everything in the bottom three rows or ranks, if you prefer, uh, are uh, protected by white, except for these two rook places. Now, obviously, uh, the opponent can't just take over those since they're uh, defended by pawns or they're sort of blocked, I should say, by pawns. But uh, technically, a king could sit right where either rook was, and it would not be in danger. Um, so if I were to make a few modifications to this, for instance, taking away this pawn in front of the queen, and run this very same thing again, what you're going to find is that now the pieces right above that queen are all unsafe for black, except for the very top row. And uh, this includes that capture of the pawn on that uh, the enemy's pawn file, this piece right here, uh, or rank, I should say. Uh, and then also it's taking this uh, uh, diagonal uh, up here, and that is from the bishop which is starting here and ending up right here. All of those places are unsafe for the black king to move. So this method looks like it has been successfully implemented. We can delete these debugging codes here. And uh, you guys can figure out how to uh, make a few modifications here so that you can create a method called unsafe for white. And I will implement that as well at the start of my next tutorial. Until next time, enjoy Java.